I am commenting on the final games of Voyas Simul on chess.com. Let's look how will this go. So in this this game, Voya playing with black, he has an extra pawn, queen and bishop against queen and bishop. So B, the b4 pawn is hanging and the e4 pawn is hanging. I think an endgame, like a bishop endgame, would be winning for black nearly sure. Also the pawn endgames. The queen endgames I'm not sure because that may be a... Maybe there are some perpetual chances. So here... Voya may think also about exchanging queens, maybe like queen d3. Queen d3, I've captured, captured back. I'm sitting in d2, with king f2. Oh. Looks like he wants to play f5, and he played f5 in that one. Okay, wonderful. So, next game, next position. Here again, up a pawn. Wow, I think there is a very strong maneuver with the knight. Knight f6, knight d5. Attacking the b4 pawn, that looks deadly. Probably white should play knight a2 to protect. Okay, this is, I think, a close game. But the knight looks still very strong. Okay, king g6, just protecting. And then the d4 pawn will be probably lost. And white cannot really get any counterplay. Looks like this is a very clear position. Probably white white should do something like queen c3 and then try to penetrate to, to c7 or c6. So I think the only way to survive or, or have at least a chance to survive to to make an um, 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 active counterplay. King f3, okay, this is also knight d5 and the knight a2 will come and then the knights will be fixed and then I think black will be able to maneuver the king forward. Uh, this is interesting, queen takes as soon as only move, exchanging king d3. Maybe b6, c5, maybe we, we may try that one if he wants to go forward, but normally the pawns on both sides are helping the player with the bishop, so I think we should just keep the position safe. Yeah, it looks like he plays b5 to block it. Queen b3, ah, wow, so this is written in queen e6 check, yeah, which we said, so active counterplay. And queen g8 check also, wow. It may happen maybe white white will be dangerous here. Hmm. So you can just take the pawn. A queen queen d7 protects the f5 pawn, but then queen g8 check. Queen g8. King may go to to h6, then queen g7, checking h5, queen h7, check, it's probably that's a perpetual, at least for white, but it looks really dangerous, with a king g5, you may play something like g3, sitting in bishop f4, checkmate. Wow. Maybe he needs to defend, actually, against queen g8, maybe queen e8, then queen e6 check, then king g5. Wow, but then bishop f6 check comes. Bishop cannot take because the queen is hanging. Wow, the draw. Ah, white offered the draw. Wow, that's very good for black actually because I think actually was winning. I think white probably was winning. Ah, okay, change that makes easy. B3, so white may think about 
playing c4. Okay, this is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting how it goes. Actually, rook, yeah, rook d7 check is, uh, uh, I think, is important. So, white will probably rook d7, then voya goes up to king g6, rook takes a7, probably voya will also go rook h3 and to capture the h4 pawn. It looks probably a draw because of the pawn raise, but it's interesting because with one pawn it will be simply draw, but with two pawns sometimes the pawns cannot be stopped. f4, that's a great move, and then king d4, and Voya will get the d3 pawn. King f3, king d4, king e2, then f. We are sacrificing the f pawn, it's be captured, and then he can go against the d pawn. And probably just can queen the e pawn, that's the simplest way to win. And f3 comes, which will probably win the, the game. C4. Maybe the best thing is just to keep that pawn there. Wow, A4. Hmm, brave, brave. This can also backfire, but hopefully not. Probably C takes D5 will come C after C takes D5. And uh, yeah, actually, maybe the black rook will be able to penetrate on the B or on the C5. So this looks like a good idea now. After exchanging on the, the a pound, then rook f1 probably need to go back, and then rook rook b6 will come, and then rook b3 check, winning one more pawn. That looks good. Interesting. Maybe white should do something like c5. Actually, if captured uh, b3, then going back to f1. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking something like rook bishop e1 in the right moment. Okay, so here comes the end game. So yeah. So white takes the a7 pawn. And that's the question because it's yeah, black's pawns are more advanced. That's an advantage for for black, but black will need make two more moves with the rook to take h4. So rook takes a7, rook h3, b4. Yeah, that's, that knight is dominating the position, really. I think he should play, the bishop should go to e1, I think, now, and play for bishop to b4, try to block the, the black rook, to kind of penetrating on, to, on the b5 to b3 or on c3. So I think, hmm, well, he makes sense. Ah, this is an interesting idea. Ah, it's forcing king c6, which blocks the rook. Ah, smart. 
Hmm. Yeah, the best chance for white to make a draw if you can exchange pawns, like playing g5. And if that works, then that's a good chance for the But probably knight, if g5, then knight, uh, F6, knight d6 comes. The rook goes back to f1, pawn takes g5, bishop takes g5. Something like knight c4 to attack the a3 pawn. So it's the question to play g5 for the simplification or play rook e1, rook b4 to reposition. What would you do? Yeah, g5 or rook f1. Rook f1 may be almost an option. Rook f1. Because when black plays something like rook e7 or rook e8, then rook c1 check comes. So the white rook also starts to be active. Actually, rook f1, rook e8, rook b1, with the idea of rook b4. Rook F1. Yeah, black can try something like knight d6 and then knight b5 or knight c4. Maybe knight d6, knight c4 looks strong. Knight, knight d6, rook b1, knight c4. And if rook b4, then rook a3, rook e3 check, rook takes a3, defends the pawn. So knight, knight d6 looks the best move. Yeah. So knight d6, what should I do there? Maybe g5, not if that helps any. Yeah, for me knight d6 looks just, just straightforward. Probably rook e1 there, maybe an option. Knight d6, rook e1, rook takes e1, bishop takes e1, knight c4, bishop b4, just protect. The pound and maybe then black cannot go forward from there. Hmm, that's an interesting. Option. But I think actually black sh should do that because if it will not do that, then rook b1, rook b4 is strong. King F2, oh, that's, that was not a good idea. Why move the king anyway? It was blocking the pawns. So it would give black a move. So, 96. Probably rook e1 is the best move here. But if rook e1, maybe rook e4 comes. Wow, rook e4 looks a strong player because if rook takes e4, pawn takes e4, and then king d5 will come. And pawn takes d4, then king c3. That's interesting. And now rook e4, I'm guessing. Rook e4, take, take king c3. Hmm. If king d5, then king b4. King takes d4, king takes a4. That black pawn looks quicker and the king also closer. Hmm. 
Now it goes back. Oh, that looks strange. What if now rook b1? Rook b1 and now rook b4. The rook b1, what's the plan? That's strange move. <laughs> Just giving time again for black now. Wow, this is really bad. <laughs> rook c1 check. Because now if rook b1, then rook c6 comes. Ah, okay, that's not that bad. Because then rook b7 check, and that maybe will actually force the exchange of the rooks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, rook c6 is probably necessary. Rook b7 check and then maybe changing the the rooks looks a good idea like a good idea. Looks like Voya has a huge time advantage. He has 38 minutes against five minutes. White is thinking, but I think he has not much chance because rook c3 is so strong. So rook b7 is necessary. If the king moves, then rook takes g, g7, so he gets the h pawn. Counterplay. Counterplay. Let's look how it goes on. Let's take a little, little break. Do you want to learn to draw and create amazing artwork that will wow everyone around you? Right now, Udemy has online drawing courses that will give you the skills you need to create beautiful artwork. So, let's look how anything changed. So, Waya is back. White is probably going for hmm, interesting. It's captured. It tries to give checks all around. And that's just helping the black king to go forward. I think white should also start to push his pawns. B4, B5. So rook h2 is always a threat, so the white rook cannot leave the a5. And 
these checks just won't help him. Xerxes and White is in his time trouble. But if rook b4, then rook c1 is an option. The knight is really dominating the bishop. The bishop can move. Yeah, he can go back to h4, but then rook c3 check comes. Bishop d2 was an option for white to prepare rook b4, so c1 is covered. So I think bishop d2 is the main option, or main move, or, or bishop b4. Bishop b4 to... Because on the king side, white may have sometimes some chance, but only the, the knight moves, otherwise it's not helping, because the h7 and f6 pawns are blocking. But the g7 pawn is, I think, the weakest pawn in the black camp. And a7 or a4. So bishop d2, yeah, and then bishop b4 is, it is a threat, actually, to attack the a4 pawn. Probably he can take on the knight and play rook c4. King d3, that looks equal. But he has not much an active way to play, I think, for black. Something like King c6, but if rook b4, then rook a7, that will be a kind of a weakness. Uh, rook c4 immediately. You probably need to play uh, rook b7 check to go for the g7 pawn. If the king moves, rook takes g7. So it's uh, b4, so he decided now to move, but Wow, it's, those checks just have a lot for black. Now, sometimes there will be some checkmate threats. And now maybe king f4. King f4 and then rook h2. Pushing the pawns. Well, moving behind the... Okay, so king, yeah. Probably king g3 need to play. Reactive. King G three then. Okay, three. Then King G two is really important to prevent the checks. It's interesting this double edge situation here. So that is to go for one. Looks like black is better because his pawns are more advanced. But white can probably. King g2, maybe rook c3, he should try. Ooh, what a, what a move. This looks like a mistake. It's a big mistake. Wow, taking the check and then taking the g4 pawn. Now this is winning for Goya. Four. Yeah, now with two extra pawns, this should be winning. If white can do anything here, probably not. Rupees, so maybe need to 
and you may go behind rook b7 check king e6 rook a7 So push the v pawn. Hmm. Yeah, black cannot go forward, just move, moving the rook. Check. Well, probably need to play king h2. Uh, normally, the rook and against the rook need to go behind the pawns because, the, like, after this rook d1. Black just move forward the pawn and then the white rook will have less and less scope. But if it would be like on d8, also then it would have a bigger chance to go and attack some other pawns like the g8 or a8. The active defense is essential. He's playing just so passive. Oh, I think it would be normally it's better to go in front of the pawns. Something like King H2 because now the H pawn may, may be dangerous from time to time. What can Black do? I think he should do something like Rook C3 and then Rook C2. Rook C3, Rook A4 check, then King F5, and then can push back. I should try maybe b6 and rook b5, but after b6, rook c2 check and rook b2 comes, that's the strong. Ah, no, maybe his chance is rook a4 check, king f5, and rook b4 go behind, and then rook c2 check, king g1, rook takes a2, b6, rook a8, b7, rook b8, and then white will win one of the pawns for the b pawn, and then with one pawn it will be a draw. Wow. That's the drawing line. So rook, rook a4 check and then rook b4 and push the b-pound. So sacrifice the a-pound, but get the uh, activity. That's the way to, to, to save the game. The rook b4. Rook b4. And black should. Interesting, but maybe there are sometimes some checkmate threats actually. So instead of capturing the a pawn, black will do rook c2. So rook b4, rook c2, king g1. h8, 3, b6, and g3. Then rook b1. So rook b4, rook c2, king g1, h3, b6, g3, rook b1, h2, king h1. Wow, that's blocking. The, the pawns are blocked. It's very wow, interesting. Even white is there. Now King G1 is the only move. Yeah, King G1.
Thinking G bar looks the That's really important because King F1, then probably H3, H2, and sitting in H3, H1, Queen. That's that's dangerous and probably a bit winning. But it's still not easy because what Black can do play H3, G3, and H2. Ooh, what, what's the King E3? Wow. Hmm. Probably better not to take that pawn. Oh, he took the pawn. Probably it's better to do something like immediately g3, g2. Now b6. If, if black rook comes back, then that will be a draw, that's for sure. But his only chance was like b6 and then move the pawn. b6, g3, b7, g2. Rook B1. Yeah, that that makes the draw. Interesting endgames, I think. Possibilities for both sides. Probably this will be a draw now. Time wise, yeah, Voya has a huge time advantage. What's we have thinking? Yeah. We actually go with the back. Maybe he can try g3, g3 and g2. Probably look at it is necessary. I guess white has no chance to win there, that would be just too much. Rook a8, b7, rook b8, king, d4, g3. Yeah, the pawns are too, too advanced, so, they, so rook a8, b7, rook b8, and then rook b5 check probably. Rook b5 check, king g6, king f4. g3. To go back to maybe with the king to, to f3, g2, h3, and then take the h4 point with the rook to capture the other one. So it will be probably a draw if played well. The white pawn is more advanced, but black is able to block it. And white king cannot join the pawn to help because then the connected pass pawns will win against the white rook. Looks like Oya tries to win. G3, B7. G2, then 
and root B1 is necessary. There will be two will come. Ah, this, so there are some ways to lose this one. B7, G2, B1, root B2. Ah, no, we can capture it actually. We can capture because I G1, queen, queen, then look F2, counter check, and then queens. Wow, that's interesting. B7, G2, root B1. Well, that then probably need to play G1, Queen, sacrifice the pawn, Rook takes G1 and then go behind with Rook B8 to make the draw. Probably this will be a draw if played well. B7, okay, played. G2. Queen, Queen, then Black would probably win with the starting with the checks. G2 is only one in the room, Rook B1 need to stop the pawn. Yeah, White need to stop the Queen. Rook G1, I think, is the Rook B1 is the only move for white now. Rook B1 and then Rook B, yeah, Rook B2 looks good, but that's bad actually because Rook takes B2 and Queen. Then Rook has to counter check and B8 Queen. So after rook b1, black should sacrifice the, the g pawn and then go rook b2, go. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, that's really strange. People make mistakes, yeah. Cause now, now I think black will win with the. Because he's starting to the checks first. Yeah, that was necessary. But now it's it's near. I'm nearly sure it's winning. So 
a problem. This, this is the time when black will win. Thank you for watching my stream. We will have you back soon. See you. Bye bye.